So hello everyone, it's Kizi here and today in this video we will learn how to create login and logout using Dreamweaver. To do that first of all go to your local host, make sure that you have installed the jam control panel and you have started the Apache and MySQL. So after that go to the local host PSP my admin. You can use WAM too. Okay. okay we are in here so after that create a new database just name it kz uh, login just create one okay and in here we will create table login uh, we will have four columns that's fine that's fine and after that we'll just we'll enter id user which will be int and the value will be around 200 and it will be it will be auto increment and nothing more so after that just uh, get user user name user pass user pass user pass word okay let this be marker let this be marker and let uh, let's enter 200 200 and uh, this should not be null so we are not clicking this so just save this okay now we have created uh, our table with these uh, three columns now this is where our data will be stored and we will continue now with creating login and logout so so now let's get started with the login and logout so first of all go to this site Create new site and just name it log in. So create a new folder in here. Uh, create a new folder and save it as login kz login login kz. So open this and select. After that, go to the servers and select the uh, server. Server key. Let name the server name be server key, and let's use local. And let's select the server folder. Okay, this will be our server folder, and the web URL will be local host slash login key slash. Okay, this will be our web URL. Click uh, go to advanced. Okay, go to basics and okay. After that, um, just uh, remove the remote and click the testing and leave everything like that. So now save it. After that, we will create a we will create a new folder create a new file mm, index PHP in here now in here now we will insert Now we will insert. 
okay after that we will be creating a layout for our site so I have already created a layout and I will provide the same for you in the link in the description so uh, this will be our layout okay after the layout just go to this database and click plus and you will see something like this so now uh, <coughs> we are here my connection connection just uh, uh, function name be one mysql server be localhost and username be root password leave it like that and just select the database and our database is kz login and okay and test it okay connection was made successfully okay then after that we are done with the database this is uh, because we need to set the connection to the database to use it to perform the sql query in PHP code so now after that <coughs> We'll go to server behaviors, bindings, and we'll create a record set query. This will be for login, and and the table will be login table, and we'll select all the columns, and we'll test it. First of all, you can see there are no data in here, so we'll hit OK. So now that we have created our record set login, now we will move to <coughs> server behaviors in server behaviors just click plus and just go in here in user authentication and click in login user so after that <coughs> get input from form yes name get username field from yes username and get password field from password validate using connection con table table login user id user id ps column password column is this user password and if login succeeds uh, succeed succeeds then we need to go on new page so first of all click ok ok first of all we will create a new new file and this will be success dot php Okay, now let's go to index page and again let's go to the record server behaviors and select the user authentication. Select any login user. Okay, username user, password will be password, validate using con. We will be using password here and user password. If login succeeds, then we will be going to. Success. If login fails, then we will go to index. Then OK. <clears throat> After that, now we don't really have data in our database. So first of all, we need to have data to perform this. Local host. So just go to your KZ login and go in this table and let's insert some data. Okay, let username be admin, password be admin. Now then go. So So now you can see here our data is here so it will be easier for us to just execute this so after this we can see that we are done so you just need to preview this in a page okay we are in here so okay I have inserted I have just written the admin and password be admin 
and I have Lauren so I'm here in success page so after this we want to create a logout page so just go to this success and just go point this one and again go to server behaviors user authentication and select on logout user and when this is done just go to index.php okay now save it and uh, make sure that uh, this page is this this page has a restriction based on username and password and if the s is denied go to index index.php okay so first of all let me save this and let me go directly to the page okay let me log out and let me see <coughs> as you see yes okay so you can see here oh, we have been restricted now enter admin enter password so we are here and you can just log out like this so and do like share and subscribe my channel thank you